Okay, we're going to take a look at the Colossal Cave Road Race, Men's Cat 4, 2017. Um, here's the first lap coming around the first corner. One of the Christian Cycling guys is taking a video, and I was on the front, and uh, my goal for the day was just to punish people. And uh, turns out I mostly just punished myself. I sweated so much, salt came through my bib number. Anyway, most of the race was just like this, just kind of sitting in. Um, <laughs> didn't, I mean, I needed the race to be really hard. And this is what I was hoping to have happen all day. Here's Dennis uh, working on the front. I didn't want Dennis working on the front the whole day. I just, I wanted the race to be hard, and they didn't mind uh, helping to make it hard. But, um, well, as you see when Dennis pulls off, I'll take a short little turn here. But uh, when I pull off, nobody comes through. And several times during the day, uh, I'd go on the front, I'd do a little pull, um, or I'd try to do an attack and a breakaway, and as soon as I got reeled in, if I sat up, I could literally just coast, and uh, nobody would do anything. And it just felt like the race would just end. I mean, we'd just be doing a nice little Sunday afternoon group ride. Yep, pretty much. So, anyway... Um, Yeah, so anyway, here, a uh, couple of the El Grupo guys are trying to soften up the, the race a little bit. They're going to end up launching a two-man attack, um, and it ends up sticking for quite a while, but uh, they have the same idea I do. This corner up here, if you're first through it, it's not too bad. Um, it's pretty steep right into it. It's about a 120 degree turn. It gets pretty narrow. There's traffic on the far left side and uh, some cones and you can't cut the corner too tight because uh, you're gonna bite it if you go off the edge right there. So every single time on this corner I did the, kind of the same thing, just feeling it out, hoping that whoever was chasing me down would either hesitate or try to let somebody else chase me down and, and I could get away. Um, this is uh, the third day of an Omnium, really hot. Anyway, uh, the second day, yes, the day before this was the time trial, and I won by uh, about two minutes. So I knew, well, everybody believed that if I could get away, I'd be gone. So here are the El Grupo kids. They get away. Nobody's interested in chasing them, and uh, I was happy to see that because if we could make this, if this race could get punchy and people start chasing one another, um, maybe it would blow up and I could win. Um, the problem was I was in second place in the Omnium, down by 12 points. First place only guaranteed me 10 points. If uh, Cade came in second, I came in first, he'd still win by two. So right about now, in this time part of the race, I'm getting, I'm pretty happy because uh, it looks like some things are going to happen, and uh, it's going to get punchy, and not like this race typically is where everybody kind of sits around for you know, four and three quarter laps, and then the last time up the hill, everybody just, you know, races. So, uh, I'm going to follow these, We, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna follow this up the hill, but uh, when we crest the top, we all kind of regroup. There's a pretty strong headwind going down the hill. Um, right here, I've got a teammate, Rich, he's off the front, and I'm going to try to bridge up to him without, uh, uh, you know, bringing the group along, so I'm trying to be really careful that I'm getting a gap, and, and as long as I know nobody's on my wheel, I'm going to keep going, but uh, I've really felt like a marked man, and every time I tried to do anything, uh, somebody somebody chased me down, so here they already caught me, so I'm just kind of sitting up. Uh, there's going to be a little counterattack on the right. Um, I just hop in line right there, and then well, you can start to see Rich up the road from us here. Uh, we bring him back, and well, Rich, uh, Rich and I had a good plan. I just couldn't execute my part. He got ahead. He, he got a pretty decent lead, about 30 seconds. And I uh, was out there in no man's land for a long time waiting for me. And, you know, it's frustrating because I uh, couldn't get away. So anyway, um, we uh, take a right-hand turn here in just a second, and then the headwind turns into a crosswind. But uh, during the crosswind... Um, we spent just a whole bunch of time just soft pedaling, chatting, just like this. Kind of dull. 
not what I needed. I needed something punchy. So here comes Rich up on the right-hand side right here in just a moment, and uh, he's going to lift the pace. And coming up pretty soon is when I really miss my opportunity. I didn't recognize it at the time, but I had my best chance uh, to get away because Rich goes up and makes the, the pace pretty high for quite a while. We've got a crosswind from the left, so I'm on the incorrect side of the road for that uh, to be protected. And then Buzz comes up and puts in a big surge. And, uh, you know, it gets a lot of action happening here. And uh, we're about a half mile from that from that turn where we go uphill, so good place to launch. Um, and right here, when they kind of when they catch him and it eases up, I should have countered. I, I missed my chance right here. So I did what I wanted on the day. I was frustrated it didn't work. Um, just wanted to make the race hard, maybe get away, blow it up. But this is where I made a tactical error. I really should have just taken off right here. But I, I don't know why I didn't. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, well, I take that back. I do know what I was thinking. That was a lap earlier than I really wanted to take off on my own. So here, uh, my brother-in-law, teammate, uh, Gene, he's on the front. So um, this was after the, the corner, and so I kind of just peel off and slow down, knowing that everybody's following me, hoping that uh, maybe he can just kind of ride off a little bit. And it actually almost worked, because they're kind of looking around, looking at me, and he doesn't stand up, he doesn't change anything, he just starts pedaling a little harder, and he gets a little gap, and somebody sees what happened and says, oh no, and reeled him back in. So, unfortunately, that didn't work either. Um, it's a frustrating day, uh, because, uh, yeah, I just kept trying and trying. Uh, here, uh, in the middle of the ASU kit, that's Jack. He is a collegiate B rider. He wins the collegiate B portion of this race. Um, this lap right here is where I really want to... This is the, the lap where I really wanted to make something happen. So, buddy Steven here, he's on the front. And uh, I just put in a move. And I, I put out a high effort for quite a while. I take us down around the corner and into the crosswind. But... Um, N nothing ended up happening, so I uh, couldn't get rid of everybody, got strung out, race was hard, but I was really only making it hard on myself, so I actually stopped pedaling for quite a while and just stayed on the front, and this guy right here, um, in the second half of the race, he, he was just going to make sure I wasn't getting away. I, I don't know why he was doing that, but if I wasn't on the front from here to the end, this is pretty much what happened. People just, you know, chatting, stretching having a nice Sunday afternoon ride. I mean, I've already done a ton of work, and I'm getting kind of tired, but I'm trying and trying again. Should have tried from farther back, but, um, you know, I was just throwing stuff, at the, at the, throwing mud at the wall, seeing if something would stick, and, uh, yeah, unfortunately, nothing would. Now, right here, um, I got a little glimmer of hope because uh, Cade, who won the race and the Omnium and the Criterium, I mean, he really put on a clinic. He comes around me and he's, he says, hey, let's go, let's work together. But um, uh, by the time that happens, uh, I think it was Richard Faraby, uh, who uh, he was already right there on our wheel. And behind him, you know, he was already getting strung out. So we could have worked and pulled the whole group all the way around. But um, Cade's smart. He's not going to do that either. So that didn't end up happening. Um, <clears throat> so more stretching, more sitting around talking. Um, just, yeah, not, not too much excitement. So here's the end of the race. Um, I'll show you. We're going to take the right-hand turn to go up the hill. I was uh, out of water. I drank three water bottles. I was already out of water for uh, a lap and a half at this point. And uh, I had already burned all my matches, so uh, I was just going to try to finish mid, you know, finish with the group, um, just surf some wheels up up the hill. But um, I ended up getting some cramps, and well, oh well. So not a not a real good result for me. But uh, this was not an A race. This was a tune-up for next week at the Tucson Bicycle Classic, where plan on racing much more conservatively and if uh, 
if I end up in second in TBC, I mean, I'd be just, I'd be thrilled. Um, turns out I end up dropping a spot uh, in the Omnium standings, end up third, which, you know, I'll take that. I'm happy with, I'm happy to be on the podium anytime, of course. But, um, you know, I went for broke trying to get first, and a lot of it was out of my control. Didn't happen. So right here, I just, I cramped, so I kind of sat up. And uh, luckily it didn't turn into too bad of a cramp. It was in my hip, not my calf or quad or hamstring or anything. So I was able to just pedal seated and, um, uh, you know, kind of work my way back into it. Started feeling a little better, picked it up, cramped again <laughs> towards the end, and uh, and just ended up rolling across the finish line. So anyway, it was a super hot day, especially for the people that had participated in the Omnium. Um, you know, we did our time trial the day before in the middle of the day, and, um, oh man, the last race I, that I did, I was hypothermic, so quite a switch. Anyway, it was uh, the Colossal Clave Road Race is always uh, a lot of fun. I was frustrated because my game plan didn't work, but I was happy to have the option or the ability to try to make it happen. And, uh, you know, made a couple of mistakes here and there. Didn't did advantage of a couple opportunities that presented themselves, but it's a great day on the bike. So hope you enjoy. <laughs>